and Finance Minister uh, Robinson Jerugidai has expressed confidence that an agreement may soon be reached that would enable students to return to school as early as next week. Gidai, who met with the Kenya National Union of Teachers today, said the meeting was adjourned in order to allow the teachers to consider the offer tabled by the government. Teachers in Nyeri marched down the streets, chanting, protesting and singing songs of defiance. <laughs> Just a day after the government had threatened to sack them and instead engaged the services of other teachers, among them retirees under the age of 65, the striking teachers vowed to stay put until their grievances were addressed. Kenya has continued to have a shortage of 88,000 teachers. We are glad that the government has seen wisdom and now wants to employ another 100 teachers. There is no way you can, the government can tell Kenyans that they can be able to recruit even the 100,000 teachers, that they can be recruited in one or two months. In the city, top officials of the Kenya National Union of Teachers spent Friday morning in a closed-door meeting with the Minister for Finance. But when the two parties emerged, the talks are progressing very, very well. Very well, if I may say so. But we did not conclude. They have to seek views of, 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 of their members. Earlier in the day, the Secretary General of the Central Organization of Trade Unions, Francis Atwoli, dared the government to sack the striking teachers. The Kotubos warned leaders that they would be judged harshly if they failed to address the underlying reasons for strikes in various sectors. Mambo ya threats in the government. Government is a government of the people and it should not, those in influence position should not use their position to threaten that I will sack you. Unahana, we will employ other teachers. We will do this. But the Federation of Kenya Employers has raised questions about the government's ability to meet the teachers' demands. We are not, as a country, taking into account the impact on our economy on having all these strikes in very key sectors in our economy. It's huge. In a bid to soothe ruffled feathers, the Finance Minister and the Teacher Service Commission affirmed that there were no plans to sack the teachers. The minister hopeful that an agreement was in the offing. The Kenya National Union of Teachers is reported to have convened a National Executive Council meeting scheduled for Saturday. The council is expected to discuss proposals tabled by the government. The government is proposing to harmonize teacher salaries with those of other civil servants in three phases. The talks are progressing very well. They were sincere, frank. They have understood our position. We have understood their position. We have understood where they are coming from. We have understood the history uh, of the whole thing. Uh, Treasury could not have intervened earlier. We are to give the line ministries all the opportunity. We are to give the employer all the opportunity, first of all, to, uh, to try and uh, bridge the gap. Should teachers fail to agree, the strike may enter its fourth week. Wilkinson Abwakatian Prime.